Okay, so we're actually putting the puppy on odor today. Uh, we're gonna start very simple and go through our initial same curriculum that kind of she already did, um, just using odor now. We're starting with a simple straight line of boxes just like she first started. Here's our odor in the second from the last box. We're gonna do a reverse pattern, a little bit different than we do on day one of class. When we go forward, we're gonna go backwards this time. And the pairing, it's gonna be paired. It's a very small piece of food in there. When she comes and finds it, I'm gonna start praising her, giving her more food, pick up the hide in front of her, pick her up, take her out. The other thing that we're gonna be doing is putting on her nose work change of equipment. Here is her collar. I'm gonna put it on each round as we come in and taking it off when we go out. So, let's see how she does. Ready? Ready, ready, ready. Make sure you have food in your hand before you start introducing odor. Search. It's a lot less food smell than she's used to smelling. So it's totally normal for the dog to bypass it. Right up there is where I cut all of the cheese that I'm using for her. She's smelling the cheese in my hand now, I believe. She caught it there. Yes, good dog. 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 Yes, good job. Yes, good dog. I know that if I put my hand in, she usually gets jealous. Yes, good dog. She's gonna teach herself a sit alert. Good dog. Good. That's it, good girl, yes. Yes, good girl, yes. Yes, good girl. So now I'm gonna pick up the hide, pick up the dog, take off the collar, put her away for the next round. The latent learning of sitting in the crate between rounds is even more important uh, when we're introducing odor. This box is the residual box, still out here. We're moving the hide too closer to the threshold. There it is paired again. One of the reasons I'm using a reverse pattern starting for the end and moving towards the threshold is because I'm hoping the dog will miss it start to detail, start to sniff harder, and it's gonna make that imprinting of the odor even stronger. That kind of got that for free on the first round because she searched the whole room first before starting her actual search, so. 
Let's see how she does on round two. And then we're going to move outside of the containers and give her a free search. And remember that the change of equipment is the search command now. So I put it on right when I would give the search command. So you're all ready. Ready? Search. Yes, good job. Yes. Yes. Yes, good girl. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, good girl. Yeah. Yes, good job. Yes. Pick up the hide. Pick up the dog. Ooh. She's getting too heavy to be picked up. One of the things that I'd like for you to notice is that I'm using praise and I'm making a distinction between praise and marking. I'm not marking a specific behavior. I'm praising the fat finding of the hide and the head smelling the odor, classically conditioning it. And then when the dog leaves the bucket, I stop praising. If any part of that is the marker, it's the withdrawal of praise. That's a much more sharp learning experience for my dog, in my opinion. So that's what it is. It's going to be in box one, and then we'll do our free search. Ready? You ready? Oh, hang on, wait for me. i to put this on. Ready? Search. Anticipation on my part, that was a mistake. This is her testing. Yes, good job. Yes, good job, good puppy. Yeah, good job, yes, good job. Yes, good job, yes, good girl, yes. Yes, good girl. Pick up the hive, pick up the puppy. And collar can come off anytime between now and going to the crate. Especially if the crate is right here. Okay, the free search is going to be fairly straightforward. I'm not going to try to overthink it. Hide number one. I'm going to put right here on the leg of the chair and I'm going to pair it still. I'll either do two or three hides, it'll depend on the dog.
Yes, good job, yes. Add a girl. Yes, good job. Now I want her nose to hit the tin exactly, and I've got a couple choices, to wait for her to have the intellectual experience of going to the hide, or to repair it. Uh, I'm gonna give her one more shot at it, before I pair it. Yay, good girl, yes! Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Yes, good job. Pick up the hide, pick up the dog. That was pretty good. Now, of course, you don't have to pick up the dog. You can, of course, allow the dog to uh, or take the dog off on leash. It's a very common way of doing it. Uh, I think, what do you think? We'll do something a little bit lower. Right here. There's our pair. And then we may end there, or I might put one in the X-Pen. Search. Yes, out a girl, yes. Yes, good girl. Yes, good job. Yes, good girl, that's it, good job. Yes, out of girl, okay. We're gonna do one more. I suspect she could already do an unpaired hide. We are not doing an unpaired hide, but I'm fairly confident she's made an association. That doesn't mean that she can do hard hides unpaired for sure, but an easy hide, I think she could, I think she could do that.
Okay, last one. And she's had a lot of cheese now. We're gonna do it just on the floor. Real nice and simple. Right there. Last hide of the evening. She's done. I think that was a very, very good session of Intro to Odor. I'm excited of progressing through the curriculum. We've already started looking at ORTs for her. There aren't a lot of, there's one just before she turned six months, 15 minutes from me. Unfortunately, we can't do that one, uh, but hopefully we'll get in one soon. And I just need to do a couple uh, sessions on boxes. Uh, which will happen not very soon because she still needs a little more work with odor and new environments before I do boxes. But uh, I would say that went well. 